Hey, everyone. I, uh, can I just show really quick before I get started? Who of you here is actually invested in cryptocurrencies? So I get a bit of a, OK, interesting. Who of you is more interested in the other applications of blockchain other than cryptocurrencies? Can I see that? OK, great. May I know who of you actually knows or maybe is using 10x? My clicker is not working. Um, my clicker doesn't work, so someone otherwise said, oh, now it does. Great. Who of you actually knows 10x or has been using 10x? I mean, we're Singapore-based, but we have a large audience or a, a large user group here in Europe. Um, basically, we're Singapore-based. We have 70 team members. We raised close to $100 million so far. I am one of the co-founders among uh, the three of us. What our product is is actually an app that you can download. Uh, you can order a debit card from there, and then you can fund Bitcoin, Ether, many different cryptocurrencies, and you can actually then use these at any store around the world as long as a credit card is accepted. Today, I don't want to talk about this. I want to talk about something we have been working on that we are going to be releasing the first prototype of, and that is actually something that the World Economic Forum talks about, namely the importance of blockchains. The importance of blockchains because blockchains solve the problem of trust in a digital world. And we believe that there's going to be hundreds of thousands, probably millions of blockchains in the future. And these kind of silos represent trust in between. And the question is, how could we connect this trust? How could we connect these different types of silos of information? Similar how the internet connected these silos of information, if you want to call it, and broke these barriers down. If we did that, imagine what was possible. It would be possible that you have one company representing a blockchain, one ecosystem re representing a blockchain, for example, information, for example, identification, for example, the information of electricity, of logistics, of course, also finance as cryptocurrencies. And you could connect those, and suddenly all the barriers of transaction fees would be breaking down. Think about most of the business models in the world. The simplest one in this case is a bank. A bank charges transaction fees because they have an arbitrage between two silos of information. Logistics have the same. They have a provider or a manufacturer in China, but they sit here in Europe, and because they have this connection but the customer doesn't, they can simply charge a transaction fee. Imagine what would happen if these would work closely together. And with a blockchain, this would actually easily be possible, especially if you can connect these blockchains. Now, we have been thinking about how to do this, and the very first solution would be the simpler solution. It's the solution on the right, which is, let's create a new blockchain. Let's make a mother blockchain, and let's connect all these blockchains. But this would be the same as if the internet would work with one internet connecting all these internets, and every time you need a small token or you need something. It's a lot of friction, and this is not something that we envision. We envision a solution that is completely open, that anyone could use, any government, any company, any organization, it's permissionless. And it's actually easier to build this. I'm going to talk about the major challenge, because the building blocks for this are already there. It's similar how the blockchain building blocks from cryptography have always been there. Just in 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto reassembled some things and brought in some concepts, but the basic building blocks are nothing different. For those of you that are quite technical and you're interested in how these hash time lock contracts work, you can go to the website. I co-authored the white paper there, commit.network, and you can read about the fine print on how, from a technical perspective, this actually works. I want to summarize it in a simple tool. Imagine on the left side you have one blockchain, and on the right side you have a blockchain. And these two blockchains can perform, through this Comet routing protocol, a handshake with each other. And with this handshake, the exchange information. If you give me this, I give you that. If you don't give me this, I don't give you that. It doesn't need a trusted third party. This is cryptographically completely secure. I'm not talking about cryptocurrencies here. I'm talking about general blockchains. So on the left side, you could have a blockchain that has identification, a passport. And on the right side, you have a real estate blockchain. You would buy real estate and the identification could directly happen on the left. The left could be a smart contract, let's say, on Ethereum. And you could say, I buy this real estate here, and it communicates seamlessly to the smart contract blockchain. Only if this sale happens, money flows. 
Think about what such a tool would do if you start connecting more and more of these silos and you start breaking down all these transaction fees and all these things that are around this. We've been working on this now for approximately one and a half to two years, from conceptualizing this and really working on this and bringing out step by step all the building blocks. We are planning on releasing this in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we have been talking to large governments around the world, to large companies, because for them, what would be possible that where it says A or LP or B, that this is not an individual. This could be a private blockchain by, let's say, a bank or by a government for a central cryptocurrency. And suddenly, this cryptocurrency could seem less connect to all these public cryptocurrencies, to other information out there. When this system grows and you start utilizing it in the most perfect way, we believe that all the businesses that right now rely on transaction costs, they need to change their business model if they want to be sustainable. Because transaction fees will go to zero. Speed will go up insanely and will increase. In theory, it could go instant, but then obviously you have physical goods and that would not make it instant, obviously. And because of the trust, this is cryptography. It's as secure as the cryptography itself. And at the moment, at this very stage, this cryptography seems to be quite resistant. We are planning on putting this into a foundation, making this open source, um, to be sure that this is public good, because we believe this can truly revolutionize the world. Um, so then you obviously ask, OK, so how are you going to make money of this? Um, the so-called liquidity providers will make money similar to how internet service providers make money today, giving access to the system. Um, the more interesting thing, obviously, is how do companies like Tenex make money of that? Um, and I think they're the same concept as the internet today, where no one makes money directly off the internet. What are interesting aspects is so-called price discovery, the routing through this network, the SEO, search engine optimization, if this exists, and tools and things like social media. But obviously, for you in here that maybe have an own company, or you're an investor, or you're a potential partner, think about how your business would transform or would revolutionize if suddenly transaction cost, this cost how to connect to another partner, would break down and go to zero. Because if this is not going to be us who is going to revolutionizing this, someone will. Now, obviously, we hope that this is going to be us, but it will affect the world similar how the internet affected the world. Because now, with a tool like that, these barriers will be broken down, similar how TCP IP broke down the barriers between all the different kinds of internet. If you have any questions on this or you are interested, then please um, check out our website. Go to 10x.tech. You can go to comet.network for those that are quite technical and you want to send this more from a technical perspective. For those that are quite new in the cryptocurrency space, you can read up a lot on this. If you get a book called Cryptocurrencies Simply Explained, you can get this on Amazon or pretty much all around the world. So with this, I wish you a really great rest of the conference. Thanks so much. Have a nice afternoon. Thank you. On the second, like blockchain. Promise you. Promise you. <laughs>